Hey everybody and welcome to the video where I talk about my goals for my career as a web developer and what I want to learn in 2017. All right, so as some of you guys know, in 2016, I ended up getting a job as a web developer after completing a coding bootcamp course here in Durham, North Carolina. So I kind of want to use this video as a guide and benchmark as to what I want to learn in 2017 and just to further my career in web development and programming in general. So as a little bit of background and just to let you know kind of where my skills are right now, I took a front-end coding course and I learned HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Angular 1X when I was there. Now, I'm not a master in any of those things by any means and I would love to continue to learn HTML, CSS, and I just enrolled in a vanilla JavaScript coding challenge by Wes Boss, which is super awesome, and I will link it down below. It's completely free. You just build 30 awesome things in 30 days with him using just vanilla JavaScript, no compiler, no framework, no library, nothing. And he walks you through the whole thing, and I've done the first couple, and they're really, really good videos. And if you want to learn ES6, he has ES6 stuff in there. It, it's really cool. Now, the first major thing that I know I want to learn in 2017 is React. And not just React, but React and Relay and Redux and Mobex and like kind of the whole thing, like how to have a fully like MVC framework-y kind of system with React and Redux and that sort of stuff. With the death of Angular 1 and that being the only framework that I know at this point, it's a little scary thinking about if I need to go out and try to find a job um, a year from now. Like right now, Angular 1 is still used a lot because people are still on it, but I can just see that kind of fading away because they aren't gonna have support for it anymore. So I think a lot of the job market where I am now, like in Durham, is moving in the React direction. The company that I'm working for now is moving in the React direction. So React and Redux are something that I'm going to need to pick up on um, in the very short term future. Past that, I'm always open to learning more frameworks on the front end side of it. I love JavaScript frameworks. So Vue.js is another one that's kind of gaining in popularity. And also in 2017, I'm looking beyond the front end. I would love to get some back end experience. I am currently doing some Ruby uh, courses online and I would love to get my like full foot in the door with the back end side of stuff. So Ruby, Sinatra, and Rails are something that I definitely want to pick up on. I have a goal to build like an API at work as a side project, build an API for an application that I'm trying to build um, to kind of support writers and like creative people in general. And I need to have a backend for it and I'm gonna learn how to make one. So I picked Ruby and Sinatra to build it because that's, we use Ruby at work. So once I kind of get my foot in the door with Ruby, I would also love to maybe check out Node with coming from a JavaScript background. I think Node.js would be a big, like easy step for a backend kind of language. And I probably would have tried to learn that first if it weren't for the fact that the shop that I work at is a Ruby shop, but Node.js is out there and it's pretty popular. I see it in a bunch of job postings in the area. All right, so that's all I have for what I wanna learn in 2017. I'm sure more will come up, but as you know, in this crazy world of technology, things pop up in an instant and go away in an instant. So in March, there might be something completely new that takes over the scene. We will see what happens. But if there's anything else that you think I missed that I should learn, or if you have any questions about anything that I talked about today, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm always glad to answer your questions there. And I do have more than one web developer video planned to go up in the next couple of months about some cool things online that I'm that I'm trying to learn and study and do and just kind of explaining how to learn code on your own. At this point, I think that I've kind of exhausted my skills that I learned at the boot camp and I need to to better myself, I'm going to need to go out on my own and find out like and seek out this information. And I've learned some tips and tricks from that, uh, some things that work for me and some things that don't. So I'd love to share those with you guys as you kind of continue your journey. If any of that sounds awesome to you, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. Follow along in this journey with me as I try to grow and become a better developer. And hopefully I can impart some wisdom on you guys as I make the mistakes so you guys don't have to. All right guys, I appreciate the support so much and I will have new videos on Tuesday and Thursday of every week. Sometimes they'll be web developers, sometimes they'll be writerly, but we will see what happens. I will see you guys soon.